Hello friends, Yossi here. Today we're going to talk about should you invest in pre-construction or resale and assignment. Toronto condos market 2019, should you buy pre-construction or should you invest in resale and assignment properties? Okay, let's go. So what I want to show you today is something that I've, I've been following up uh, for myself recently and it's I think it's really cool um, and quite interesting. Um, firstly, a uh, quick uh, introduction. My name is Yossi Kaplan. I'm a Toronto, I'm a Toronto realtor, a mortgage broker agent, and I work at Search Realty and Search Mortgage. This is my Twitter page, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you very much, everyone that has been subscribing, liking, commenting, talking to me, emailing me. It's I really appreciate it. Though It's not easy to start a YouTube channel, and you're kind of just talking to yourself and hoping, oh, hoping that someone will um, hear it and it's value to them. So that's the idea here, to bring some value and to make real estate interesting and, uh, and a good learning experience. And I'll share with you what I know and uh, by way of commenting and questioning and emailing me and talking to me, you guys are teaching me. So thank you very much, each and every one of you. Uh, on the Twitter today, before I jump into the resale or assignment, I'll give you a review of what's out in the market and then there'll be uh, an easier jump into the topic because by the time we get to that, you kind of know half of it. So take a look some here. Uh, this is an assignment I got at 488 University. Now, 481 University um, is going to be launched very, very soon. I'm not sure the price is yet, but I think they're going to be much higher than we're asking now. So right now here, I'm asking 1100 on this uh, assignment. It's on a 39th floor of the building. It's a one-bedroom condo, and it's 595 for about 550 square feet. So just over, say, uh, like just over $1,100 a foot, okay? Um, and as far as I'm concerned, that's a very, very good price for assignment because what we'll see is that most uh, pre-construction is more expensive. But let's, uh, let's move on here. Uh, 1580 Avenue, Yorkville, right on Avenue Road, just north of Yorkville, actually. Um, th these um, these units will cost you for the penthouse level sixteen hundred a foot, sixteen hundred a foot, and uh, and if there is anything left on the on the uh, not penthouse level, it's going to be twelve to fourteen. Okay, so um, in this case, the pre-construction more expensive than the assignment or the resale. Uh, here we're looking into an assignment I have at six oh nine Avenue Road, and it's going to be um, just uh, an image from. Uh, the render but that's going to be the one i have is if you scroll down my twitter it's somewhere in there and it's a it's a two bedroom corner unit very nice with the parking and it's a, it's around like a thousand fifty a foot or thousand eighty a foot below 11. uh that was sunday i was sitting at the back of jimmy's by myself and working on the website because that's what it means to be an entrepreneur that's what it means to run your business and that's what it means to be first in real estate in the very busy uh, place you really got to focus on what you do you got to focus on your craft and whether I'm studying the market I'm looking at the stats I'm making on the web page I'm making a video for you guys and I'm always doing something always improving always learning always try to become better at what I do so I can give better service to you and better investments and there's a lot of amazing investments coming soon um, and we have some of these here West condos um, which is actually Oh, it's connected to a LinkedIn. That's okay. Ah, because I did an article. Uh, West Condos right here. I don't know if you can see the mouse and I move it. Um, the historic, that's the coffin uh, factory on Niagara Street. And then a the new part uh, looking south towards the rail and then uh, south towards the lake. Absolutely beautiful condo. I called it last chance to invest in Toronto because um, everything is built up and the prices are insane. And this is actually the best priced new development in the city right now. And if you want to buy something in here, I would definitely go for a two-bedroom corner unit or a penthouse uh, because this building, in my opinion, is a boutique building. It's going to be a fantastic quality. The floor plans are very, very good. There's no wasted space in these plans. Every single floor plan I've seen here is very good. The team behind this building is very experienced. I think this could be one of the best investments to make in the, in the downtown, um, and you're literally just west of Bathurst, okay? So very, very good. I wrote a few words here. Why prices are going up and all that. Um, okay, so that's west. Uh, that's another link to west. That's a picture that shows you from the south, looking north, 
no, my mistake. We're looking south here. So that's from north, from King Street, from the air. Uh, basically looking from what would be the summit condos, maybe. Uh, looking south towards Niagara. And that's what you see, okay? Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. So did a, a bunch of sales here. And if you like a good investment in downtown King West at a price that is reasonable and actually less than most other new construction I've seen right now and on par with resale assignment, West is a great consideration. Um, some more images from West here. Really nice job on, on uh, the, the treating the historic style of the 1900s warehouse for the first few stories and then the white modern for the top. Uh, that's common, you know, Junction House is doing that. A lot of buildings are doing that. And I really love, I love this design because it's paying homage to the history of Toronto as a city of factories. And, you know, when you go along King West, you see all these old factories, you know, they're converted to lofts and, and commercial buildings. Uh, some sample floor plans. Look at this. This is two bedrooms with their own baths, opposite sides, nice, large um Living room, good entryway with all the closets, everything just where it needs to be, even nooked in a little den and a giant wraparound balconies, balcony. And that um, very compact unit, 870 square feet plus the almost 300. So that gives you just under 1,100 square feet uh, of, of usable space. Fantastic. And it's going to be like so nice, especially if this comes on a higher floor. What, what, what best could, could you ask for? Okay, so prices are good here, and the West is actually uh, a bit of a out of the ordinary, as I'm going to show you right now. Okay, let's uh, speed up here. Uh, this is a resale, fashion house condos. Uh, these units, you know, they're about 500 and chain square feet at 549. Uh, this unit is probably the 530 square feet at 549. So just that, just over a thousand bucks a foot. Okay, so that's fashion house with the famous pool, um, just over a thousand bucks a foot. That's a resale. That's a resale that already exists. It's deeded to someone and you're buying it from someone else. The price is very, very good because um, if you were to go across the street to Big King West, that's 1800 foot, 15 for the large units and 18 for the small ones. Here on Twitter, I have power sale. I'm not going to go into power sale now. That's a whole other video. But if you click on this link, uh, it'll take you to the list of the power sale, which is I made it automatic. So it updates all the time. Okay. Um, 2300 per month for a tiny apartment above Queen West. Here's 1100, uh, 1181 Queen West. That's also uh, quite expensive. The lookout condos, that's at Kingston up the hill uh, towards Maine. Um, that's a great project we're doing an insider sale for. That project is actually lower on the average, and you're looking at about 850 a foot on average for the building, you know, um, more money for the smaller units. and less per foot for the larger units but it's a boutique building and most of the units are very large so that's why the price is, is discounted okay um this thing uh, i believe it sold and that was about 1.3 million for this giant townhome um well over uh 1500 square feet so this was below look at this this is absolutely gorgeous just a block from uh, trini bellwoods not a block even 200 meters everything you wanted big rooftop Okay, uh, for less than a thousand a foot, so fantastic value here. That's the Avenue Road, so maybe about eleven hundred, but with parking, with parking, and that parking there is worth um, nearly a hundred thousand dollars. So the price here is really just for the unit, which we're measuring the net unit price is just about a thousand bucks a foot, which is what you want. It's fantastic, only ninety-five thousand uh, deposit. Okay. So I'm going to move to uh, uh, a few other things. YossiKaplan.com, that's a site I put up recently um, just for fun and show some, some really nice, nice things that I got. Uh, you can see here, these are the, the Niagara condos, the West condos. I got a mistake here, I got to fix. Uh, these are the lookouts. My article about the tips and buying and selling. Niagara, which you can still get a couple units here before phase two. Uh, Airbnb legit, townhomes, these are the West condos, you can see some more information here. I think this is a very good project and actually I would seriously considering uh, investing in this project because the quality is very, very good. 
this guy's Aspen Ridge. You know, this is one of the original uh, Toronto developers. Started with uh, homes. Okay, these guys know what they're doing. So I would uh, seriously consider it. This map here, if you click on it, it takes you to a shortcut to what's for sale right now in the area. So let's jump right into it and compare prices uh, to resale. So this is uh, resale here. If you want to go to this directly, okay, you have a few options. I'll show you. Um, the one, how do I get out of here? Okay, you can go to uh, urbanrealtytoronto.com, my, uh, my big site. Then when you go to the bottom here, uh, these are the links. So if you hit King West, it will take you immediately to the resale listings of King West. And remember, today's topic is should you invest in, and you can see it's the same link that opened from before, okay? Should you invest in pre-construction or should you buy resale and or assignment? And what I'm going to show you here is that these days, pre-construction costs more than resale and assignment. Once again, pre-construction costs more these days than resale or assignment. Why is that? Okay. So first of all, understand that when, when I started out nearly 20 years ago, just buying like you, wasn't a real estate agent, never thought about being a real estate professional, um, but always enjoyed it because I grew up in the business, more on the engineering side. Uh, so I was um, doing some investments and playing around, and it was a lot of fun. And um, at the time, we were buying about $200 a foot, okay? that That's like in the 90s, the prices in Toronto were about 200 bucks a foot. And now they're, you know, five to six times more than that, you know, 1,000, uh, sometimes even 1,800, okay? So nine times that. But um, apples to apples, we'll say the average then was 200, and the average now is, say, 1,000. So five, five times, okay, in uh, nearly 20 years. Not bad. Um, so what happens is at the time, pre-construction was cheaper. Why? Because, because we didn't have that crazy boom, and Toronto wasn't a condo city. It was just, just good old sleepy Toronto. Everything was gray. LCBO was closed on Sundays. You know, nothing was happening. There was no traffic. Um, all the buildings west of Spadina were boarded up on King. Yeah. Um, if you went west of Bathurst, people thought you're crazy. Like, what are you going all the way there? You know, it'd be, it'll be like a day trip to go visit someone in Parkdale. Parkdale was like so scary, like Dundas and Sherborne at the time. And look at us now. So at the time, the new construction, if a developer would come and find something, um, they would actually sell it at a discount to the resale market. Because people would say, you know, there's a risk. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know about buying. You know, like I'm so used to just buy from someone else. Uh, we don't know this developer. What's going to happen is going to be good. Will the value be there? They do it in a new area. That area is not so so nice. You know, there's areas like the junction that now is like a thousand bucks a foot. At the time, people will say you're crazy to go live there. Okay, maybe they buy a house if you belong to a community from the junction, but otherwise you won't. You just stay where you were, and that's how it was. Like very old school. And now, you know, people moving all over town, and it's it's no big deal because anywhere you go in town, it's good. Everywhere is good. Toronto is crazy. Everything is good. So the new construction is becoming a new thing also um, because you can only put 20% down of 15 really and the 5 at the end. Um, and then you get the assignment clause. A lot of people just want to ride the wave and flip the property. And because they have the 20% today, they go, you know, I'm going to buy the 20% today because tomorrow is going to be more and my 20% is not uh, big enough. I need more and more money all the time because the prices keep going up. So at some point, uh, not too long ago, the new construction became more desirable than, the, than um, the assignment and the resale, especially the resale. Assignment is a really small market, really. Um, and you can see it here. Um, so buildings that recently completed, like 525 Adelaide down here on King West, uh, if you look here, it's about 1000 bucks a foot. I'm not sure exactly what the... Um, um, I'm not sure exactly how much, how many square feet here, but say, you know, an average a thousand here, if it's 650, so just over a thousand, uh, here will be just over a thousand. Uh, this one here will be just under a thousand. I'm just looking at the price here and the square footage, just under a thousand, just over a thousand. 
uh, just uh, under a thousand you see so we're hovering a thousand and then if you want to see just go to condos.ca to the King West page and you can see it's a thousand thirty six a foot that's the average on units are 849 square feet so 850 and mind you as units get larger grow in size larger unit bigger units the dollar per foot is going to be smaller okay lower so what we actually see on my page on the King West page here is that the prices are a th like around a thousand it's, it's very reasonable um, and it, it's kind of stabilizing uh, 992 is the average reported on condos.ca now mind you there's we're comparing it's not we're not comparing the exact same database although we're looking at the same city the same neighborhood but maybe some properties on this side are included and not on the other and and, and the reverse okay but 87 sales right here 992 that that's pretty good measure and uh 877 sales okay because it's uh the 2018 average 952 837 so it's going up so we're already forty dollars almost five percent four point two percent and we're only in march okay so we can do ten percent this year and that means that we'll add a hundred bucks a foot which makes sense because we already at 1036 so if i added a hundred bucks a foot to 992 okay i got i get just under 1100 a foot so we still have about 50 uh, or sixty dollars per foot room to grow over the next nine months okay so that's not a lot that's maybe growing six seven eight nine dollars a foot each month less than a uh, you know half a percent okay so that's so a hundred bucks of a hundred bucks a foot for the year ten percent so say zero point eight percent a month on average some months a little more some months a little less but you, you can see the picture. Now, if you're looking into the new construction, uh, some of this I post here, 1181, you look at stuff that I haven't posted, uh, like Rush Condos, uh, just up the street here in Adelaide, um, you're gonna get much higher prices. You're gonna look at uh, Big King West, you're gonna get much higher prices, okay? So you look at uh, the market crash, no, it's not, Junction House, $1,000 a foot in the junction that was inconceivable at the time <clears throat> anything you buy in queen east or queen west now is 11 12 and 1300 a foot 543 richmond west is about 12 to 1500 dollars for depending which units you're looking at right and then next door to 543 richmond west you'll find the rush condos and there's some uh, tridel deeper in there towards padina and all these buildings are now looking at 12 to 1500 a foot with you know the King West, the big King West, across the street from me, at uh, 15 to 80, and that's 90% sold out. So that that was just phenomenal. These guys just deliver really good products. Their prices are high, but that's what it is. But when you look at the assignments, uh, they're lower. When you look at the resale, yossi.searchrealty.co, the resale is less. Okay. There's 75 Portland, beautiful unit, uh, 899 asking. So that's just under a thousand a foot. Unit 918. Let's take a look. What is it? Uh, it's the lobby. That's that's not bad. <laughs> okay, so very nice unit. One bedroom, two baths. That's like a glor glorified uh, glorified uh, one bedroom. That's what a one bedroom should be like, really. That's pretty cool, my friends. That's a cool unit. Faces the Thompson there. Okay. Uh, large one plus one loft icon offers well designed, nine foot ceiling, high and modern. Da, 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 da. Okay. So that's really nice. That's very, very nice. I like it. It's good. You can see the condo fees 512, property taxes 3500. Okay. It's got, got parking. So if you like it, by the way, you can put a note, save it. Uh, or you can request a showing. I'll get that. Um, or you can just send me here a message. And you can also do a scorecard. You like the condition. You like the location. Not nearby. School and whatever. And then that gets saved in your in your account. Okay. Let's look at Yorkville here. Uh, so these are all resale in Yorkville. I'm using condos.ca. 1372 a foot. Okay. 
Now the average in Yorkville based on 255 sales was 2018 uh, was 1109. So this thing grew by 10 percent. Uh, I grew by almost 20 percent in 2017. 10 percent now, and we already have 13. We're already 200 bucks a foot over right now. Okay. So I'm not sure why it showed me 1372 here and 1150. For here, maybe that's asking. These are probably average of asking, and that's probably average of sales. So 11.54. So I've already added about fifty dollars a foot. Okay, four percent on 26 sales. So the city is moving. You can see more and more info here. That's you know you don't know when it's sold, but it's kind of cool to look at. But don't get carried away too much. But I like this, and I also like the downtown because the downtown has a lot more volume. So I'll just shortcut here and hack the URL for downtown. And it's also a larger area uh, here. And it's showing us 933 average for 2018, 957 at the moment. So it grew by $40 a foot. That's 2.6%. But the average asking is 1049 based on large units, but still 1049. Okay. Uh, so that's almost $100 a foot already up. And the average uh, rental per foot is four dollars, four dollars and four cents. An average unit is uh, three thousand a month with uh, seven hundred thirty-seven unit uh, square feet unit. And the King West one, seven hundred square feet uh, square unit, but the dollar per foot is higher, four four dollars twenty-five cents a foot. So King West is more desirable. Uh, the renters pay more. The price here, 992. The price in King West is higher. Uh, downtown is asking slightly more right now, but King West seems to be uh, a really good investment. Okay, so you can you, you can go and analyze these things by yourself and see like what you find. Um, but that's what I wanted to show you today: that resale at the moment and assignments, because they're sold more or less at the resale price. Actually, a little bit of a discount sometimes um, make a lot of sense right now. Because they are cheaper, but mind you, when you buy the resale, you gotta assume ownership uh, right away. When you buy the assignment, you gotta assume it, you know, within say three to six months or three to nine months. So with that means that it's not just the twenty percent. You gotta take the mortgage, which we can help you because remember, I'm licensed to uh, do mortgages, and we have eight fantastic mortgage agent brokers at the office, which I'll, I'll refer you to. Um, and if you buy the pre-construction. Or the assignment and you got some time on it then that's another advantage because then you're only doing the uh, 555 and maybe five at the end and maybe you're looking to assign it and flip it or close it later but you don't have to bring all the money now so that's my friend uh, is my thing today thank you very much for all the subscribers please subscribe like and comment on everything it really really helps everything helps uh, please follow me on uh, Twitter Twitter is where I put a lot of information out. Um, you can creep me on LinkedIn. It's all good. Um, and most importantly, if you want to see the listings, go to yossi.searchrealty.co in that, and then type in whatever you want here, or go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, go to the bottom here, pick any area you want, the junction, and it'll pull for you all the resales. And if they're in the assignments registered, in the junction itself. Okay? So that's it. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. You'll see you out.